Good evening, Trash. I'm Anna Rumor with Pop Culture. And I'm Nick Valdez from comicbook.com. And this is Dragged, where we offer our unfiltered opinions about everything RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, because I am feeling blessed and highly favored. We are going in on the double premiere of All-Stars 8, and man, do we have a lot to talk about. If you want to go into the intro looks and the Meet the Queens, we did that in a special last time, so go back and check that out. But Nick, I think we really just have to jump in to our first mini challenge, because we've got a lot to talk about. So we've got this famous then and now runway. I want to know who stands out for you, who you thought was a flop, because I've got answers on both ends. Jimbo, uh, we, we talked during the intro episode when we were meeting the queens that I've never seen Jimbo in action. Uh, I I don't really watch a lot of the, the I, I watch the main RuPaul, but I don't watch a lot of the spinoffs. And so you have time to like go and live your life outside yes. of the uh, television. <laughs> Shocking, Not, couldn't be me. <laughs> But but clearly I should start because Jimbo, uh, I'm I'm amazed that Marilyn Monroe look with like oh just I was it was so cool it was yeah. such a a cool idea and well executed too because she looked gorgeous you know on top of just mm -hmm. being kind of goofy and on top of that like we got a lot of cool famous now looks too I particularly loved Kahana Montrese's um, Lil Nas X tribute yes I oh. I was big fan of Jessica Wilde's Yo Pereo Sola look yes. from Bad Bunny like mm -hmm. it was just like there's a lot of cool ideas in there but there also were a lot of ideas that didn't quite like hit the mark, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, like who, Nick? I can't, I can't even think of one with badly cut out letters. <laughs> I get what Darian Lake was going for with the Billie oh. Eilish look. I understand it. But also, this is Drag Race All-Stars, you know? Yes. And maybe Darian was able to pull it off because she's Darian Lake. She doesn't normally dress like that. But yeah. at the same time, you don't normally dress like that for a reason. <laughs> it is so mall couture. Not even mall couture, it's just mall. Tough to see, weird with the hair and the makeup because there was no dragging up of the outfit. And also, it just felt very hello fellow kids to me. And it just, it didn't work. If you are gonna do something like Billie Eilish's look, you've gotta, you gotta do something else with it because just the baggy clothes is not very uh, drag to me. But I need to hear what you think about Lala Ree because she's golden, going for that golden boot again with her, <laughs> what was it, Root Really fans? It like, didn't even make sense. I don't know what to think. I, I'm just, you know, what was, what was up with it? Like, <laughs> truly, truly, what was up with that? The, oh, the bag I, ball was honestly better because she had to make that there. She brought this with her. Yeah, and like the, the felt letters didn't quite like line up correctly or like it was just, it was odd placement on top of like, yes, it's funny, you know, you're yeah. censoring the naughty bits or whatever, but like. Goes. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, I guess it's funny. Right, yeah, I was like, you're being very kind, Nick. It's kind of just like, yep, we know about that website and here you are. <laughs> that's the thing, like, if you're gonna go the whole censoring route, you know, do the do the obnoxious way and do like the black yeah. bars and like yeah. go, go for it in that sense, but. But that was, that was a disappointment. <laughs> it really was. It was, especially because my one of my favorite looks, other than Jimbo's, which I agree was fantastic. I loved Lala's uh, before. What was it? Famous then her look with yes. the the gown. I gasped when she came out in that white sparkly gown. I was like, this is Lala Re, all stars version. This is yes. beautiful. I can't wait to see more of this. And then she comes out in this bodysuit with the the cutout letters, and I was like. Well, old Lala's in there, and yeah. God bless for it. <laughs> yeah, it, it went from, I can't wait to see more, to I've seen enough, very quickly, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, now, speaking of I've seen enough of it, uh, let's move on to the next <laughs> challenge. Or wow. the Money, Success, Fame, Glamour remake with the girls group. Nick, what would you think of how everyone did? Um, I, ooh, it's tough to say because, you know, I, it, it was a tough song. You know, mm. it either the, it, they had to do a glam rock or a disco version. 
and yeah. both versions weren't great. <laughs> yeah. Which version did and you like better? If that's not I, an impossible question to ask. I, I guess I, I don't I guess the disco version? I, yeah, me I too. guess. Like it's yeah. very like uh, yeah, maybe if I had to pick one. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, if, if you were being forced by your co-host to name which one you like best. Yes. <laughs> when, did anyone stand out to you one way or another at all, honestly? I, I, I guess I, Kahana Montrese did in the glam rock in the glam rock one because yeah. like she kind of just did her own thing, which mm. ultimately was the right move because you know they. Both groups struggled with choreography. Both groups struggled yeah. with like actually making it like a cohesive presentation. So Kahana was like, "Oh, I can see the future. I just do my own thing, and everyone else could just keep up in some way." And you know, ultimately, she was rewarded for that. But that's kind of the challenge we were dealing with. It was it was a lot of it was a lot of mess. <laughs> I don't even really have anything to say about it. No one did particularly well. I agree that Kahana did the best and I love her and she's so beautiful. I'm glad that she's back and I'm excited to see more from her, which is not something I super expected early on, no shade. But uh, yeah, let's just move on to the runways. Let's all do us all a favor. The theme is a famous forever. Tell me who are your faves. Tell me who were the flops. Okay, so Kahana, once again, I yes. was like, yes, Vegas, yes, like come oh, through with the God. construction, you know, like, yes. <laughs> who rocks a metal bikini better than her? I can't name them. She looked so beautiful. She was my top, as was Jimbo, uh, with that like monster brain hair, the tongue coming down, the jumpsuit. I thought that was so creative and so fun. Yeah, it was so cool. That's such like a, it's inside out boy. Like, like quite literally just got pulled yeah. inside out and I I loved it. That's another Jimbo look where I was like, and on top of that, like Jimbo's famous now look with like the thumb, the likes yeah. up thumb, like in that the wig. Cool. I, yes, like Jimbo's so creative, but like also cool and fashion forward. And I, I really like that, you know? And on top of that, I, I do love um, Mrs. Kasha Davis's like metal hair thing. <laughs> like, yeah, did, no, that was really cool. I, I did like the helmet, you know, and shout out to Brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Brunch! That was funny. That was good. See, Mrs. Kasha yeah. Davis, she's always going to make you laugh. She's going to sneak through the competition. And, you know, yeah. and Heidi in Closets, I did love her her fifth element kind of look. Uh, it was, yeah. I, I think it was her best look of the premiere. She came out with some looks for the famous uh, then and now, but the forever one was clearly the one that worked, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no Humpty Dumpty uh, for us there. Uh, for the flops though, I know that you are a candy stan. I'm so sorry. I, I needed this like red Pringles can she was wearing. I love the hair, but man, the red, I don't know what that was, but I did not like it. Candy cane muse was just not working. I, I don't what? like it either. You know, it was, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So much of this episode, yeah. <laughs> At least it's more than what Darian did. I'd hate to pick oh. on Darian Lake again. I but I mean, on top of the Billie Eilish one, like her looks were so plain. And oh. my thing is like, you're this is all stars. You're coming back yeah. for all stars and you're doing the same stuff you did in your original season. It's a shame. Like I, and yeah. she does do she does do more in the in the second episode, which we'll talk about in a bit. But mm -hmm. seeing her in the premiere was just like, oh, I know you could do better. I know you could do it. And I did love the hair, the blonde hair that was kind of teased out. That was really beautiful. But just you know, leopard sequin peplum saying all of those words in the same description of an outfit, that's a crime in and of itself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> To the top girl for our episode one, we've got Kahana Montres winning. I think that she definitely won. Did you agree with that? Oh yeah, one thousand percent. Well, and from the bottom, we've got Monica Beverly Hills, who we didn't talk about much, but she, that's kind of because she didn't really do much. She seemed really like nervous just to be there, and she was, which she talked about. Uh, and Darian Lake, which I think you could tell that we definitely agree with. So we are going with typical All-Stars rules with the lipstick being picked by the winner and then they face off against the Lip Sync Assassin who's got the collective group's lipstick. Uh, and for the Lip Sync Assassin, first we've got Aja who comes in for, uh, for a dance to Freakum dress. Uh, what did you think? 
I love Aja. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah, good to see her back, showing us what real ballroom's all about. No, I, I really, her like spin dip was really cool and she's such a good performer. So Aja does win the lip sync and that means that she pulls the lipstick from all the girls' votes and it is unfortunately Monica Beverly Hills who is sent packing during the first episode. Uh, and it's sad to see her go because, you know, I think she was just nervous, but also, the looks that she had brought right off the bat, none of them really struck me. So I think that that was the right choice. It is, but also it isn't. It's mm. it's really tough because Darian, like, she, we saw what she did in that premiere. And you compare right. that to Monica, and Monica did do a lot better, especially with, like, that Cleopatra look that she had. And, you're like, right. Yeah. You're right. I'm switching yeah. my I'm switching my. <laughs> <laughs> you convinced me. <laughs> It, it's just a shame. Like it's it's yeah. one of those things. Like I wasn't disappointed in her. Like I was yeah. Darian. So I didn't quite agree. But also that's the game. Someone's got to go first, mm -hmm. and someone's got to go second because we have a second episode to talk about <laughs> <laughs> already. Uh, and let's jump into the maxi challenge because uh, we just have to get through this. We've got RDR Live, which is like an SNL kind of skit challenge. And I'm curious to know faves and flops. Hmm. Okay. So I will just say I'm. We are blessed that we have quite a lot to get through this week, and <laughs> we can't really spend time on these challenges like we yes. usually would. Both of them. It's it's not a great start for all stars. I will yes. say that. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, an interesting start. Definitely miss the talent show start. I did think that there were a couple people who did well though. Mrs. Kasha Davis made me laugh out loud with you're so mean to old people and coming in as Barb in, in that like spandex suit. That was very funny to me. Yeah, because Mrs. Kasha Davis is funny. And yes. that's the thing. It's we yes. we don't have a lot of funny queens this season. And you know, and it really showed, you know, and the the funny ones really stood out. Like her, you got James Mansfield who yeah. I went from knowing nothing about to being super impressed by by the end of episode yeah. two. So mm -hmm. I, you know, that's why I don't ultimately agree with how things shook out. <laughs> yes, I I agree. Uh, also, just throwing in Heidi whistling through her gap is always funny to me. But it came to flops. Kind of everyone. Else. I mean, Jimbo did well, too. Uh, and so did Jessica. But... It, it, Everyone else was kind of either eh or bad. Kahana yeah. really stumbled. She's not as fluid. She's not like a natural comedy queen. And then uh, Nisha Lopez also struggled to get those jokes out there in a way that made sense. I feel so bad for Nisha. We're gonna talk plenty of Nisha I here in a know. moment, but I, I felt know. so, I felt just so bad for her this entire second episode. And, and then I found out why I felt so bad, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> So for the runway, we've got the theme of the Net Gala fun theme. Who were your faves? Who were your flops? Hmm. Okay. So Jimbo rules. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, <right>? <laughs> <laughs> I was so impressed. What a fun idea of the, mm. the constant cameras and lights and like a, it, the internet. I, I guess that's what the idea was. And yeah. you know, it's definitely like a, I it could have been a famous now look too, which is mm -hmm. awesome. And you know. I know, gotta admit, I know you didn't like it, but I like Mrs. Kasha Davis's like kind of fairy tale look. You know, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I respect your opinion, Nick. So I'm assuming there's something there, but I missed. So what what was wrong with Mrs. Kasha Davis? What's going on? Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, it was it was three different costumes purchased from Party City. One was like a magician. One was like. A butterfly, another was an evil queen, and then a businesswoman suit. I just, I didn't get what she was doing. And what she was doing was not, in my opinion, clearly <laughs> well executed. But I, I guess there was something there that we really, um, yeah, just don't see eye to eye. I'm shocked, I'm shocked. Yeah, I liked it, you know. Good. And, and, <laughs> and in terms of butterflies, I also like Jessica Wilde's look. The, the net, fun. the butterflies was fun. It wasn't really that anyone did poorly in this runway. I, I don't really think anyone yeah. stood out as like a stinker. I, yeah, well, mm, okay. So, <laughs> so 
other than Mrs. Kasha Davis, who I love, so I'll take any interpretation where she did better than I thought she did. Um, we've got we've got Darian coming out in this look where I wrote, I either hate this or will love it later. It's hard to tell. The basketball hoop ball gown where the dress is the basketball and she's carrying a giant hoop. Actually, now that I think about it, I kind of like it. All right, yeah, you're right. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's like, kind of okay. Yeah, because it was a concept. We went from Darian doing nothing, like yeah. she was giving us nothing, to giving us an idea, and <laughs> <laughs> it's really I just had to sleep on it. <laughs> I like as soon as she came out of the basketball thing, I was like, I'm sold. I love you. I'm I'm okay. Like, yes, thank yeah. you. This is this is what I want. Like I want those concepts. I want ideas, yeah. you know, and not just yeah. I'm going to wear the same thing I wore the first time around. Yeah, no, you know, it's interesting because I flipped. I really I still like it. But when Kahana walked out in this like Poseidon outfit, I was like, Whoa, oh my gosh, amazing, yeah. beautiful. And she is beautiful. But it is the same kind of look that she wore the first runway, um, yeah. like metal bikini. And maybe I, she just looks great in a metal bikini, so that's what fooled me. But I think maybe my my amazement at her outfit and my disdain for Darian's outfit has <laughs> flipped on its head. <laughs> I, I, I mean, all it, all it took was a day. Uh, so when we come down to the tops and bottoms of the episode, we have Jimbo as the winner, which I agree with. That outfit was so cool and she did really well in, in the RuPaul's Drag Race Live too. What do you think? Yeah, overall, I understand it, but in our yeah. year live, I do think James was my favorite. Yeah. You know, mostly because I did like that that voice that James put on for it. <laughs> yeah, that was very funny. That was very funny. I think there were a couple people who could have won, but Jimbo's runway put uh, put them over the top. For the bottoms, though, we have Kahana all the way from the top to the bottom in just one half of a premiere, and Nisha Lopez, um, unfortunately. So, so when it's time for Jimbo to lip sync against the lip sync assassin, it's Pangina that comes in. Always excited to see Pangina. And they do a very uh, interesting <laughs> lip sync to Shebop, and I'm curious who you thought won. I, there were no winners. Both of you go home. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, right? I was like, you're lucky this is a lip sync for your legacy, because this was so weird. Let's just move on from it. Uh, Pangea and I did win it, and that's, you know, fine. And uh, so that means that we've got the group vote again, and the group voted to send Pangea. I'm shook i'm so sad for her i did not think she was gonna go home so early misha misha has been in like five drag race episodes and has been eliminated from like half of them so <laughs> it is so sad everyone really wants her to be good at drag race and for some reason she just isn't and it's there are very different skill sets involved with being good at drag and being good at drag race so i'm not saying she's a bad queen at all clearly Ms. Continental, but uh Clearly, this is not her game. She she has a good chance of winning the Fame Games, which we hadn't touched yes. on. But to close out this episode, uh, we yeah. you know we we all learn about the Fame Games, which is the competition that allows the queens to actually show off the looks that they would have shown off had they not been eliminated. Which is yeah. so great because we saw that all with like season fifteen. You know, we have some queens going viral for their looks, and so it makes a lot of sense to actually have that on Untucked and have yeah. that as something we can all see and vote for. And with Nasha's looks, she has a really strong chance of actually winning that, if it's just looks, you know? <laughs> I hope so, because man, I felt so bad when she went home, because I just, I just thought she was gonna go further, I don't know. <laughs> I was this season's gonna be wild, time. Nick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, next week it's time for a ball. Uh, already, I'm excited. Again, we're gonna have a million looks to go through, so I'm already sweating. I'm excited to recap this entire season of All Stars 8 with you and with you at home watching. So make sure you tune in every week where we'll have more to talk about with Dragged.